we probably like the coolest interracial couple ever on YouTube. And you say, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I say, I saw like the first top 10. And, uh, you know, they were all usually like some white dude with a black female. And, you know, she's smiling, he's smiling. And she's like, oh, he's white and I'm black. And I'm looking at them like, no shit. <laughs> we can see that. What's interesting about you? So anyway, he laughed when I said that. But anyway, uh, what else I write down? Oh, yeah, I said, I'm getting older. I am getting older, man. I can't remember I park my car sometimes. I'm a son to the patients. I'm trying to fit in because I am older and a lot of people age not doing as well physically. I've been lucky. Some people say blessed or whatever. I, I just believe in good karma and I think I have a good intentions. And you know, it might not be conventional, it might not be what we're used to seeing, but like my choice says, just do it. You know what I mean? And I figured like why not? Anyway. Thursday, I was joking about Magic Johnson and Tiger Woods. I said he got extra set roll of teeth. And I was talking to somebody, I got joking with EMT and said he got like 84 teeth or something. I don't know. And uh, breakfast with MLK. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I was walking somewhere with my dog Mila, and these people, uh, Black Black Matters, like six white people holding signs. And I was walking by, and like, this is funny, but I'm just glad there are nice white people. I've read. A lot of history books, I've seen a lot of black country stuff, and yes, you know, the abolition has helped us a lot, you know, so uh, anyway, so if there's six white people holding black black matter signs, they're cool with me, all right, that's still it's funny, and I was saying something like, uh, okay, you know, I've played a lot of white women, I know it's controversial in this culture, you're dominated by another culture, and I'm not saying show sure. off, oh no, 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 it's not like that, I'm just saying, I'm in the truth, and uh, I'm saying, I'm not the worst person you can meet, and I treat women with respect, so if you can't even embrace issues, that's, you're not seeing the personality, you know. But anyway, before I said what I made, I would have told Mo somebody, I said, but I do have a limit. You know, it's like three guys, in the, white guys in the room. And, uh, you know, if it's more than that, I ain't playing with them, you know, Amber, Heather, Tiffany, whatever, you know, like, and, you uh, know, I just ended up talking about I was in the army and I got a pugil fight. Um, it's like a big Q-tips and you had helmets. And it's like part of the basic training in the army. I remember the guy was like really, he was an idiot. And it's like the end of the dragon scene. I was like, Bruce Lee, and they came up and with that pico stick. And I couldn't believe it was home. I could like spar with anybody. And I remember I went like all out on him, like Aaron Pryor, he did. Like the boxer, I used to love him. He had no defense in the um, boxing in the 80s. And I just I hit him so hard with the pico stick. He was bigger than me. I knocked the helmet off his head. It's just slashing tackling me to the ground and you know, made me do some extra details. Maybe I'll say we'll never did have fun. <laughs> so anyway, that was stupid. Uh, what else I write down here? Uh, Ninety percent of what we do is habit. That's just an interesting quote. Uh, my mom. Oh yeah, she said still you make a lot of. I mean, guess every mom loves his son. And uh, especially I'm the only one she had. And uh, I look just like her. And uh, it's just funny. Even I like her. And that's something. Oh, let me say this real quick. I saw a quote one recently, uh, Benjamin Franklin, the one on hundred dollar bills to own slaves uh, at one time. Oh yeah, you know, and they try to justify it. Like, well, that's the way he was at that time, and he wasn't that bad. He, he owned people. <laughs> Leave it at that. All right. So anyway, uh, he had a quote one time say, "Love your enemy." Like we always hear that. And he said that, but they show you your flaws. And I thought about that. I really thought about that. I said, "Whoa, my biggest flaws." Talk too much, too emotional, and I brag too much uh, for a guy, especially a black guy. You know, it's like, yeah, but I got a lot of stress too. I'm very honest, I got a good sense of humor, and I'm a worldly person. I experience many things, that's why I can make videos like this. Anyway, I thought it was just kind of, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my mom said, you know, oh, I told her I met Sydney Hall one time on the TV set. I just said hi to him, but you know, it's mostly white people on the set. And he's like, all black actors, it don't matter if you're big or not, you just say, you like, you're slew. Like, yeah, yeah, we're brown skin, pretty much what he said. And he was cool, he just gave me a nod, like, hey, what's up, how's it going? But anyway, Sydney Hall was pretty big. Um, I did, he, he got in trouble inviting Mr. Farrakhan on the show, and he didn't even say anything crazy. He said, people hate me, but I'm not responsible for, uh, for so many deaths or so many people who cause hate. You know, I'm just trying to unify people who's been disenfranchised. And, you know, I, I was actually thinking about joining this shit. It's not one time. I was so inspired by Malcolm X. And then I remember I went to the meeting one time. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, how you doing? I'm just talking. And, uh, 